Studios is sunny San Diego, California. Big Biz Show's on there. Isn't that the equivalent of Brown Eyed Girl? A little bit. Really? Yeah. Let's lose that one. Sully here, Costa there. Hello. And the day trader, Quattro. That was kind of, that wasn't satisfying, was it? Want to keep it going? Just, it just left me hanging. Can I, can I ask this? Have you, um, do you listen to music differently now? Yes, now absolutely. That you, now that you're a, uh, now that you're, um, what was the guy's name in uh, the Mozart movie? Uh, Salieri or something? The guy that was jealous of Mozart that killed himself? So now that you're that. Great. Do you listen, do you listen, <coughs> do you listen to music differently now? Totally. Yeah, it just, whatever. This should be good. Oh. How's, <laughs> how so? Uh, whatever playlists I have on my phone. Plug them into the car and go. Okay, are, are you answering the same question? Like, do I listen? To how it are you listening to music differently? Uh, whatever playlist I have, I plug it and go. Well, no, normally it'd be on the radio or via my device. Are All you right. saying with my different ears? I'm just saying now that you know that there's a resolve. Oh, a hundred percent. Sorry. Show of hands. Does anybody believe that Mike knows what a resolve is? I absolutely know what a resolve is. Thank you. Okay, what's the resolve? It's with that thing at the end that just kind of wraps everything up in a nice little bundle. <laughs> Nailed it. I, I would pay good money just to see you do karaoke. Hey, great <laughs> to have you on today. Our good friend John Rood is here. Can we play a Fly Like an Eagle first, please? Because John Rood with uh, Momentus, stock symbol MNTS, is here. You can go to momentus.space. He's the rocket man. He is the rocket man. Oh, here we go. Here we go, John. Hey, John. Are you hearing this? Yes, I am. How you that's, doing? That's, you know, that's... That's Brian Jordan. Not from the Steve Miller. Wow, Mark. Okay. That's the result. Like that? Yeah. John, good to have you along. I have to ask you something because I was speaking to uh, one of your market makers uh, just two days ago, and they said, do these guys really launch a rocket in space for another company who's trying to deliver a satellite in space? Is that basically it? Yes, we're think of us like the UPS of space. We take our satellite, we separate from a rocket, and then we deliver other satellites to space. In other cases, for some customers, we offer to just build the whole satellite and uh, provide that service, both to provide what's called the bus or the chassis yeah. for the, the satellite, right. as well as integrate the instruments. And so, you know, as an example, last week we submitted to some bids to commercial customers and the Department of Defense to do that kind of work. John, will there ever be a time where you guys launch your own rocket versus on the infrastructure of, you know, Elon Musk or uh, Jeff Bezos or so on and so or NASA even? No, we're we're trying to be that last mile connection, basically being your connecting flight in space, where we're going to leverage the infrastructure that uh, Elon Musk and SpaceX or newer companies like Relativity or ABL are putting in place. And part of the reason is there's been a decline in the cost of buying that commercial launch service by 95% over the last 20 years, according to McKinsey. And, but there hasn't been an increase in your ability to reach custom orbits or to service things in space. And the number of satellites that are needed to support you know, growing communication needs, remote sensing, et cetera, has really uh, blossomed as well. Last year, Space Foundation just put out a report in the last week that said commercial satellite manufacturing has grown to $7.9 billion in revenue in 2022, which is uh, you know nearly double what it was the previous year. And it wasn't even no. a thing no, 10 years ago, right? I mean, th this was not even a thing. Now, now, now we're uh, creating an infrastructure in space. Hey, John, does your, what, what Momentus's responsibility from 321 ignition to when you jettison the, whatever is in the cocoon out into space, where does your responsibility end once that process has taken place? Is it when you put the satellites out into orbit? Well, we'll take our customer satellites and integrate them and get them all ready for launch. It's a service we provide, including the licensing activities. But then once you get separated from the rocket, we'll prepare you for launch on the rocket, going through environmental testing, space testing environments. Then once you're in space, we will separate and deliver you to your appointed uh, destination, whatever that orbit is. And then at that stage, if it's just for transportation, that ends our responsibility. We've safely taken your satellite to its destination. Hey, John, is in your- In other cases, people will pay us to host them and to, to operate their machine in space 
with what we call hosted payload service. And for example, we're doing that today for Caltech where they're showing the ability to collect solar energy in space and transmit it wirelessly to Pasadena. John, uh, your Vigoride spacecraft, is that's the spacecraft that delivers the other satellites, correct? That's right. Does that stay in orbit? It does, and it'll stay in orbit. The ideal situation is if we've got enough passengers, we will both deliver them to orbit and then stay in orbit and provide hosted payload services to others for whatever duration their mission is. So at the moment, the Caltech hosted payload that we're supporting, they've got a contract with us to do that for at least six months with an option for up to two years. The reason that's attractive commercially is you can continue to provide a, a multiplicity of services and then gain revenue over a longer period of time from the same uh, product that you produced. John Rood's our guest. He is the CEO of a company called Momentus. MNTS is their stock symbol. John, when we met you, you had deployed seven Vigoride spacecraft. What are we? What's the number up now? We've deployed 15 satellites from our three Vigoride spacecraft in orbit so far. So technically, that's 18 satellites we've put into space. And we did that from the first launch to the, the third one all in under a year, which in the space industry is, is considered very rapid for your first launches. And obviously, we've now come up the learning curve and we can accelerate that production schedule quite a bit. John, we've, and, only, know, we've only known you for seven months. You, <laughs> you, I'm not kidding. You put eight satellites in space in seven months. Um, my question is this. So are you uh, brand specific to Jeff Bezos' um, uh, rockets? Are you brand specific to Elon Musk? Is there Are there other... Uh, folks trying to get your business? What, what, talk about that side of the equation. We're, we're uh, neutral, we're agnostic. We can go with any of those partners. We've got agreements with SpaceX and a couple of other companies called Relativity and Gilmore, but we can fly with Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin. We can fly with United Launch Alliance or, or any launcher really, uh, as long as they've got a little bit of capacity that can carry us and our, our customer payloads. So that gives us a lot of options in the future. So uh, my question is this. So for the rest of the year, since you've, since you've gotten the speed of light for the last uh, seven months, what's next for you guys? I mean, obviously, uh, trying to get business into the pipeline is one thing, right? But what about for you guys as a company? That's right. We're, we're trying to get business in the pipeline, and, and we're seeing a lot of growing interest in our capabilities. As I mentioned, we submitted a bid, for example, last week to the Space Development Agency for the Defense Department in the U.S., for uh, to produce 50 satellites for what they call the transport layer basically communication satellites where they're building this large network of several hundred around the earth and the, this is just the latest solicitation they've put out we've bid other jobs to commercial customers to do similar things for their constellation or to provide hosted payload services so that's a big effort we're also uh, in the process of uh, producing our next Vigoride, which will launch uh, early next year, and then we'll put some customer payloads up in space also later this year. John, next time you guys launch, we've got to have you out there, and we connect here, we, even with an iPhone. I think it'd be fantastic to do the interview. Plus, we want you out in San Diego. John Rude, CEO, Momentus, M-N-T-S. Always a pleasure, brother. Go to momentus.space. He's in the business of satellites he he said when he first joined us the first time he said it's not the final frontier it is absolutely the next frontier he's done eight launches <laughs> in seven months more big biz coming up stand by